What's going on guys, JPB Duel here, hope you guys are enjoying your Friday, and for today's matchup, we have a Prank Kids versus a Branded Despia, with my opponent playing Branded Despia going first. Now before we go into the gameplay itself, if you guys are new to my channel, I am a Prank Kids main player, and also, this is not a 40 cards Prank Kids deck, I'm playing with a 60 cards Prank Kids deck, as you guys are seeing right here, total is 60. And this hand I drew is actually pretty cracked. If I was going first with this hand, I would have had an amazing board. But going second still works out. So let's start with the game. My opponent normals out a Fawn of Abbas, puts down two cards face down in his back row set, and ends his turn. Now this lets me know that my opponent is playing Branded Despia, and he is pretty bricked. Now... I'm having the video paused right here. Let me know in the comment section below if you were in the same situation as myself. As soon as your turn starts over, would you max your opponent instantly or not? Also, can you guess what those cards face down set are? Because let me tell you right now, if ever your opponent plays his turn like this, there is a small chance that they could be mind gaming you. But I would say more than 90% of the time, they will guaranteed have super polymerization set in the back row. Because this guy could have just passed his turn after setting down back row, but he did not do that. He put Fallen of Albaz on the field because he wants to get the super poly activation on the opponent's turn. Super poly is a quick play spell, you cannot respond to it whatsoever, so you cannot chain your maxi to the super polymerization. So with that in mind, I knew for a fact this guy had Super Poly in his back row set. Like one of those cards, guaranteed Super Poly. So the first thing I do during main phase 1 is I pop my maxi. Because again, I told you guys, you cannot respond to Super Poly's activation, so you cannot chain maxi to it. So I'm going to preempt him maxi him, because I know, again, he is going to go into a special. I start my combo off with Roxy's, we go into our Miyamu, activate Roxy's in the grave, we're gonna banish the Roxy's from hand and get a copy of Fancy's on the field. And lo and behold, there it is. There is the Super Poly activation. So he's gonna take away the Fawn of Albaz plus a Special Summon monster from the extra deck. That's gonna equal a Mirror Jade. Now Mirror Jade does kill off Prank Kids pretty hard, okay? Does kill off Prank Kids pretty hard. So I was expecting to draw into something more useful ended up drawing into a dropsy, which is still okay, not that bad of a deal. With that, since I want to continue my combo, I have to go into instant fusion. Now this instant fusion will give me a rocket ride. Once again, if this guy knew anything about prank kids, he would have just activated the mirror jade, banished out my rocket ride, because at this point we do have two different named prank kids monsters in the graveyard. If he had done that, my only play after that would have been activating the Corridor to go into Colossus Space of Defense, and that's it. That would have been the end of my turn. My opponent could have won the game afterwards. But no, he chooses to hold on to the Mirror Jade's Banish. So with that, I'm just going to tribute out my Rocket Ride. That means I have more materials on the field to work with. We get the Miyamu back, we would get the Roxy's back, and using the Fanzies, which we have not activated in the graveyard so far in our turn, I use that and Miyamu go into my Doodle Doo. I'm gonna chain link one my graveyard activation, chain link two my Doodle Doo, because again, the opponent can chain link his Mirror Jade to the Doodle Doo's activation, and Doodle Doo can get banished, or he could Ash Blossom it. We don't care much for it. This card could have been an Imperm, could have been a Forbidden Droplet, negate the Doodle Doo. So you wanna chain block your graveyard activation with the on field one, which the opponent can most likely interact with. Now if this card turned out to be a Call by the Grave, that would have been pretty bad. He would have used the Call by the Grave on my first Graveyard activation itself. So unless the opponent is stupid, he would not have done that. So I assume this card was not a Call by the Grave at this point. We get our search for the Pandemonium and with the uh, Fanzies we pitch pranks, get a copy of Lampsies on the field. Now in this specific situation, you need to go for Pandemonium. You cannot search for pranks because the Mirror Jade's Banish is still online. So he could banish any of my cards. If he banishes out the Doodle Doo, we don't care much for it. We could still go into our combo. 
but if he banishes out one of the cards, the other two cards, I would have to use Pandemonium, go into Weather Washer to get more graveyard activations to put more material on the field to do a full combo. So that's the reason at this point you want to search for Pandemonium over Pranks. With that, the opponent uh, triggers out his Mirror Jade, banishes out my Lampsies. So that means he knows that my Lampsies is not active in the graveyard just yet. So I could still go into Lampsies. If it goes to the graveyard, it will still activate, give me a special summon. So with that, he activates Mirror Jade, banishes my Lampsies out. Towards which I thought, now I took my chat into consideration this i usually all my games i put on youtube are from my twitch so my chat was going mad saying that yoink the mirror jade yoink the mirror jade to be honest for me personally i wanted to rip the last card from my opponent but my chat was saying yoink the mirror jade and i just yoinked the mirror jade uh yoinking the mirror jade was lethal so we're gonna yoink the mirror jade we're gonna go into Corridor, recycle out the Lampsies, and then Corridor goes into our Colossus since it's considered a Thunder Effect activation from our hand. Then we're gonna use Pandemonium, use up two cards, one from the field, one from the hand, go off into our Weather Washer. Drops these activates, it's gonna put another card in the field, and with this the opponent did not have anything, and he knows he's cooked, so he scoops the game. That's going to be it for today's game, guys. If you guys do enjoy this kind of videos, please consider hitting the like button, subbing to my channel for more daily pranked video uploads. If you guys are interested in a live version of all of this, I do live stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash jpbduel. Link along with my schedule and a link to my Discord will be in the video description itself for you guys to check out. This is jpbduel signing out for today. I'll be seeing you all in the next video. Peace!